Yeah, an exciting one about to start here. First serve is Gulje Guchtekin to start things off for the Badgers. Miami versus Wisconsin here in the second round. Orzel kept it alive, gonna be tight at the net. Hamill nicely done. The tip, and it's down for Miami. They get the first point. That's a great tip right over the block. A little bit of miscommunication on who's gonna pick that ball up. Something the Badgers talked about and identified, and I think they'll clean up as we progress through this match. Good start for Miami. That's the key is they need to start strong, especially against this resilient Wisconsin team. Already a Cologne. Service error to start things off. Not the way you want to start things off if you're Miami, but Wisconsin get it right back, 1-1. Miami has two top spin servers that we'll see tonight, putting a lot of pressure on the Wisconsin passers. Top spin serves can be a high risk, high reward type of serve. Proper from the line on the overpass sent down by Anna Smrek. Wisconsin identified in order to slow down Miami's offense, they need to serve tough, and that was a great ball put in by CeCe. CC Crawford again. Great serve, but kept alive nicely. Nice dig, nearly touches the scoreboard from Guzze Guztekin. Off the hands of Smrek, kept alive by Hamill. Sarah Franklin perfectly placed. Inside the 10-foot line. What a great shot by Franklin. That thumb down, wrist away shot inside the 10-foot line. Really tough ball to defend. Three straight for the Badgers after losing that first point. Better pass for Miami. Great response as well. Getting that one right back. Yeah, they were able to run that middle off that on a good pass. And a single block up front. 3-2 game here. Anna Smrek goes untouched. Another kill for her. It's a great high swing by Anna. Finding the seam in the block and taking that cross court. Even if that ball's dug, it's an out of system ball because that ball's on their setter. Great choice. Izzy Ashburn now. One of the all-time greats. Into the net. Costly error for her. And Miami back within one. Grace Lopez is their other top spin server. So we'll see that here for the first time tonight. The player to look out for for the Canes. Takes the Badgers out of system. From the back row, sent down with ferocious power. Yeah, that's a great run. Badgers looking at their front row, trying to make a decision. They end up getting two blocks, but we, she takes that thumb down, wrist away shot under the block. Lopez again, good serve. Out of system, kept alive though by Franklin. Wisconsin has to send a free ball. And another kill, beautiful there from Angela Grieve. You'll see here tonight, Miami runs a faster offense, making it essential that Wisconsin's middle blockers make really good reads and have really good eye work throughout the night so that they can get over to the block and shut the outsides down. Fieldhouse is loud and it goes long from Grace Lopez and the game is tied again at five. Missed serve, but took two serves and got Wisconsin out of system. Really good, good job by Grace Lopez. It's now two service errors for Miami already in the first five points. Franklin hits the net but goes over. She gets the ace just barely. Fieldhouse loves a good trickle over. Franklin certainly happy with that. It was just that close. Somehow found its way on the other side of the court. She'll go again. The Badgers lead this one 6-5 now. And Miami get the point of violation there against the Badgers. 
Miami runs a 5-1 offense, meaning that their setter sets from the back row and then rotates into the front row and sets to the front sets in the front row. She's now in the front row, so we'll see two hitters up and a back row attack coming from the back row. Roll shot from Thomas Ilara, overpass controlled by Booth. Gets it back and gets the kill. I love that choice by Ashburn. Booth controls that overpass and gets rewarded, gets set, and finds a way to find some hands, get that ball to trickle down in front of their blockers. Yulia Orzul now to serve for Wisconsin in this tight first set early on. Nice response, good tip there. Something that Wisconsin identified about Miami is they will mix in some tips and something that they're gonna have to be balanced and ready to pick up throughout the match. Tied at seven. Tight for Ashburn, the one-hander. Takes the setter out of system. Lopez from the back row. Orjo makes the save. And it's out, and Wisconsin do they get the point? The linesman says it's Miami's point. The one in the corner said there was no touch, but the center referee said there was. And it doesn't seem like Kelly Sheffield is in any hurry to challenge, and he won't. It's a little early in the game, I think, for him. Maybe just a miscommunication between the linesman there. Off the block and it's a kill, Heredia Cologne. Yeah, that outside ball died inside a little bit. She got her feet there, but then changed direction, having a lot of success off the Wisconsin block. Fans are loud again at the field house, trying to rally their team down by two points. Robinson gets blocked. What a block. Miami now have a three point lead here in the first set. Yeah, really good eye work by Miami's blockers. That was an in-system perfect pass to uh, Wisconsin's right side. And they shut, to, shut the block down and got a block. Badgers look flustered here. Thomas Ilara, and it's in, it paints the line. It's a big response by Temi. Great high swing down the line. Hard ball to defend. And Temi Thomas Ilara, who had arguably her best game in a Wisconsin Badger uniform last night in her NCAA tournament debut, picking up from where she left off. Here's MJ Hamill. Gets blocked but kept alive. Diving to make that play. From the back row, off the net, kept alive. Thomas Ilara got blocked, makes the diving play and sends it over. A great play. Tried the tip, got blocked. Orzel reaching back. Back to Temi. Thomas Ilara finishes it off with the kill. What a rally. What a great hustle by Wisconsin. The field house is on their feet. And it had to be Temi Thomas Ilara who made that great play with her fist to send it over. Gets the kill in the end. Badgers pull back within one. MJ Hamill again. Good serve, causes an overpass. Off speed. The tip gets blocked by Crawford. Another one, perfectly placed. Good execution there by Miami. Found Wisconsin in a little bit of a scramble and just found a way to get that ball to the floor. 11-9, this is a close one here in the first set. Anna Smrek kept alive. Rosado does nicely, and Miami get the point. What a dig. Yeah, Rosado's had a lot of success down that line, whether it be off speed, whether it be challenging the right side's hands. She's looking to really make Wisconsin's defense look to their right. And it's an ace. Savannah Vock. It's a great serve by Vock. A lot of space on Wisconsin serve receive. Able to 
drive a flat serve, let it drop right off the table. A lot of trouble for Wisconsin. Vok once again, another tough one for Orzel. And Miami get the point, and that's two in a row that the pass hasn't been great from Yulia Orzel off that serve. Serving is a thing that Miami identified that they needed to do really well to slow down Wisconsin's offense tonight. Anna Smrek, what a response. Really great pass, really great set, and a great swing by Schmeck. So Gulje Guttekin back at it to serve. Canes lead by four. Badgers looking to get back into it. Guttekin. That one goes long, no tip. Badgers get another one, they're clawing back. Yeah, in row one, they keep their pins split, Miami. And so they're looking at a lefty on their outside and their righty on their right side. A little different look for them. Blocked, but it was out just barely. Getting the kill there, Heredia Colon. And we're gonna take a quick timeout. Miami lead 15-11 here at the Fieldhouse. We'll be right back. And welcome back, Aiden Michaels, Mallory Stone here in the first set between Miami and Wisconsin. The Canes lead 15-11. We expected a close matchup, but I'm not sure I expected the Canes to come out this strong and have the lead right now over Wisconsin. Yeah, Miami's a really physical team, and I think it matches up pretty well against the physicality of this Wisconsin team. I think it should be a good match tonight, and that's what you want to see in the NCAA tournament. Redia Cologne, who just had that kill. The top spin serve, it's a hard one and out. And Orzul and Gooch Tekken, I don't know if there was a miscommunication there, but it was a good eye in the end, but that almost looked unintentional that they let that go. Looks like we might have a challenge here. And that's one of those serves, those top spin serves that just goes so fast. And it, it looked close. It was impossible to tell in real time. Hard serve to execute out of the timeout. They decide no challenge there. Sarah Franklin, it's out. But uh. did it take a touch? It did. So again, confusion between the linesmen, but there was a touch indeed. Wisconsin get the point. Yeah, I think Franklin just got those high hands. Really good swing from her. Crawford. It was tight. Booth, a nice tip. Great Beautiful dig. play. A lot of tipping going on here. You see who can get control of this. Smirk gets blocked, and it falls. That's a great block by Miami. Four hands over, getting into Wisconsin's space and finding success. And it's not often you see Anna Smrek, who's six foot nine, get blocked. A beautiful block, perfect placement as well. Big one for the Canes, 16-13. Franklin, what a dig though by Rosado. Blocked, sends a free ball over for the Badgers. Franklin, no mistake this time, gets the kill. It's a great slow to fast approach by Franklin. She sees how that first ball is controlled, takes a slow first step, and then really accelerates into her last two. Two point game now, starting to become back and forth here. Now Izzy Ashburn comes to serve for the Badgers. She had the service error earlier on in this game. Gets to go again now. Off the block, and it trickles out. Again, Miami is running just such a fast offense that these blockers have to be really crisp, get those hands over fast so that they're not getting tooled. Grace Lopez. Missed timing, that was Booth. From the back row, nicely dug out by Gooch second. Franklin, 
gets the kill again. What a shot. That's a great dig by Gigi and a great swing by Sarah Franklin. Again, that cut shot just so hard to defend. Found that middle blocker's hand. Sarah Franklin again from the line after two big kills in the last rotation. Block off the head, but kept alive. Thomas Ilara gets blocked. Big hands there. That's something that Miami showed last night. Their blocking ability, again, their physicality is something of that, their strength, and they're showing that tonight. Angela Grieve. Robinson with the kill. It's a great swing by Robinson. Getting, our, uh, getting their right sides involved is something that they want to do, keeping their offense balanced and keeping Miami's blockers guessing. Wisconsin again back within two here. Yulia Orgel from the service line. Big opportunity here for the Badgers. And that one sails long from Grace Lopez. Miss hit that one there from the back row. One thing about Grace Lopez is she wants to swing. She's gonna go be aggressive. And a lot of the time she's rewarded with that. That one just didn't fall. Orgel just barely sails over the net. Off the block, but it falls on the side of the Badgers and Miami have regained their two-point lead. A lot of really, really big swings from both sides of the court. I think cleaning up blocking both ways and really being effective with blocks is gonna be a game changer in this game. 19-17. Off the block, nicely done again by Miami up front. Can Franklin keep it alive? Yes, she can. And again. Nice dig there. Tip, perfect. Perfect from Thomas Ilara. There was some great defense being played in that point on both sides of the court. Big swings being taken, big digs being made, and then Temi coming in with a little tip to finish it. Some great defense on both sides, but Wisconsin needed that one and they got it. Trail by just one here, MJ Hamill. Lopez smashed that one against the hands of Thomas Ilara and it sailed all the way behind the court. Miami again have it back. Again, just big swing after big swing here. A lot of good stuff. She is letting the hands fly. Thomas Ilara, nice dig. Blocked, somehow kept alive again. Managed to take a swing on that ball. Off the scoreboard, Franklin gets it over. Beautiful dig again by Sarah Franklin. Thomas Ilara straight at the chest of Rosado. And again, that's another big rally that Wisconsin come away with. Yeah, great dig by Sarah Franklin to start that rally and then Tammy to put it away. Gulje Guchtekin now, desperately trying to tie this game up for the Badgers. Hamill into the bench, Guchtekin chasing it. Miami get it again. Cologne just coming in with some heat from behind the setter. A lot of power, a lot of pace. Again, being rewarded overpowering that Wisconsin defense right now. Floor Marie already at Cologne. From the service line, Miami have the two point lead again. Smreck 
off of Heredia Cologne and back on the side of the Badgers. Anna Smrek off the back set gets the kill. It's a great swing by Anna, but again, I have to look at Gigi. That dig to start that rally. Those kills don't happen without digs and sets. Good stuff from the backcourt of Wisconsin. CC Crawford. Tough ball. That one goes long and we've got a tie game here in set number one, 21-21. Wisconsin fans are on their feet. The field house is roaring. 7,000 plus on their feet. Crawford again. Even better served than the last one. Good hands there from Miami. Franklin will try again. Rolls it this time and a miscommunication gives the Badgers their first lead in a while. And they're gonna take a timeout. And everybody is on their feet here at the Fieldhouse. 22-21. And we mentioned that these two teams did face off against each other earlier this season. They've only played a few times. Wisconsin does have the better of them, just two and one. And it's a tight game here now in the first set. And we mentioned the biggest difference between tonight's game and the game earlier this year between these two teams is Grace Lopez. And she's been incredible tonight. Grace has been incredible. The first time Wisconsin saw Miami, they were running a pretty different offense. Not only was Grace Lopez not in the lineup, but Savannah Vock was actually hitting and setting. They were running a 6-2, whereas tonight they are running a 5-1. Savannah Vock is leading their offense as a setter in six rotations and doing a great job at it. Badgers have the lead, 22-21 here in the first set after Miami had a number of three-point leads in the last however many minutes, and Wisconsin have finally clawed back. They've got the lead. Now we can see whether or not they're going to hang on here. Just three to win the set. Canes just need four. CC Crawford again looking to continue the momentum for the Badgers. What a block, Booth and Franklin, huge block. Booth and Franklin knew where that ball was going. That was a perfect pass on Miami's side. And they knew that they wanted to get the ball behind the setter. 23-21. Over the block, and it was out. Wisconsin are now at set point here in set number one. And a timeout called, their second one by Miami. And they're just one away, and CeCe Crawford has been serving pretty great in the last couple of points, looking to keep that momentum. When you're up there serving and the opposing team calls a timeout, how much does that do to your confidence level going back onto the court and having to serve? Yeah, that's something that's talked about a lot in practices in situations where coaches try to put you in that mindset of, hey, I need to go back and put in a great serve. I don't need to serve an ace, but I need to put in a ball that's going to take them out of system so we can play some really good defense. And I think CeCe's in a great mindset. She's put in a lot of great balls, taking them out of system. And so we'll see how it affects her. And we will see indeed 24-21. The Canes had a lot of leads as we mentioned. Wisconsin now have a three point lead which we haven't seen since the single digits of the first set. They've really come back and it's interesting because Kelly Sheffield never took a timeout and I don't think he ever thought he needed one. He trusted that the Badgers were gonna come back and settle things down. 
as they did. And now they're just one point away from closing out the first set against a hard-fighting Miami team. CC Crawford now. Can she keep her composure? We've seen a lot of the times after a timeout, one going into the net, or an easy one that's returned for a kill. We'll see what Crawford can do. 24-21. Crawford keeps it in. Great response, and guess who? Grace Lopez. Yeah, I think that's exactly what was talked about in Wisconsin's timeout. Of They probably want to get this ball to Grace Lopez. And Grace yeah, snuck that ball through and found a way to get a kill. There is still hope for Miami. 24-22. Looking to stay alive here in the first set. And a smack goes out. And it's 24-23 now. Just mistiming that, mishitting that Anna Smrek. And now a timeout called Wisconsin will take theirs. Yeah, a lot of good volleyball happening here tonight in the field house. Both teams putting a lot of good swings on the ball, playing great defense, and just competing at a really, really high level. And with this game being so close, 24-23, the Canes looking to stay alive. And Kelly Sheffield just say, hey, why not? You got both timeouts, why not take it? and we'll see what can happen. Uh, Kelly Sheffield, who has, has been probably the most successful coach in this program's history, of course. Uh, and on the other side for Miami, Jose Gondora has been incredible as well. And just a big coaching matchup. And that's what you love to see, is two great coaches going at it in tournament games. Curious to see how Miami comes out of this and responds from behind the line. As we talked about in the last time out, it's a it's a hard thing to do to come out and put in a really good serve out of a timeout. I think it's also a really hard thing to do in the field house as a visiting team. Most definitely. And what do you think is the conversation that's being had between Coach Keno and his players right now on the bench? I'd have to imagine that he's just telling them to keep their composure, go play the same volleyball that they've been playing all set long, and really identify things early at the net. They need this point to stay alive, Miami, here in the first set. 24-23, set point, everybody on their feet once again. Rosado from the line. Sarah Franklin in set number one. Wisconsin win it 25-23 in a close first set. Really great swing by Franklin. She gets on that ball fast and sneaks that ball through before Miami's hands can get over the net. Good and finish by her. It was a good finish indeed. It had to be Sarah Franklin. First set, 25-23 Badgers. We'll be back for set number two. 25-23, the final score of the first set. Wisconsin and Miami, the Badgers took that one. We're about to start the second set. Aiden Michaels, Mallory Stone here on ESPN+. Plus. It's been a great one. That was a, an amazing first set, a very fun one to watch, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I think that Badger fans and fans in the field house tonight really appreciated the good volleyball that was played. A lot of big swings from all hitters across the net and a lot of great defense being played. Setters making great decisions, putting their hitters in great positions, and that's when you have the best volleyball. And if you're Miami, do you continue to just keep swinging hard even though you might have the risk of getting blocked I mean they've been swinging hard all set long it's worked out for them in the first one do you keep going with that strategy Miami's hitting 244 Wisconsin's hitting 268 I feel like yeah they they keep playing aggressive volleyball maybe mixing in some off-speed shots but I think Miami knows that they got to go be aggressive in order to put stress on this Wisconsin team and they were able to do that in that first set. So I would say, yeah, they keep swinging, maybe mix in a few off-speed shots, but stick with the game plan that they had. And I'm sure the Badgers would like for the second set to be a little more under their control. They did start to pull away with that set toward the end of it, but that entire first set was pretty much all Miami. They controlled all of that 
until the very end. So I'm sure Wisconsin would like to grasp that momentum, whereas Miami would like to just hold on a little bit longer. Yeah, Wisconsin maintained their composure really well. I like to say that they didn't blink. There was not a lot of concern or worry in their eyes and their body language, and that goes a long way at this level. What you're telling yourself, your self-talk, what you're telling your teammates, all of those things factor into an ability to fight through a tough set like that and come out on top. To start the second set off now for Miami, Savannah Vock from the line, the Florida native, sends that one over. From the back row, nicely dug out by Gooch Tekken. Smrek with the kill. Good swing by Schmack, just finding that deep court where the defense isn't. That's a hard ball to defend. CeCe Crawford to start serving in this set for Wisconsin. Nice floater, causes an overpass, which is dunked down by Carter Booth. I've been really impressed with CeCe's serving tonight. She's put a lot of pressure on this Miami serve receive and given her team opportunities to score points when she's behind the line. And those tough serves from Crawford were the ones that mounted that comeback toward the end of the first set as she sends that one over again. Nice tip, and the hands from Booth that sends it out. Miami get it back. And there we see that mix-in of a off-speed shot to loosen up the defense. It's kind of what we just talked about before with do they keep swinging, do they mix in some off-speed, and there you have it. Heredia Cologne. Perfectly placed by Carter Booth into the corner. What a kill. It's a beautiful pass by Gigi back there, putting them in a position where they can run Carter. Carter's attack point was so high that she's hitting over blocks in there. Izzy Ashburn to serve. Badgers lead 3-1 here in the second set. Nice swing, great kill, Grace Lopez again for Miami. It's a great thumb down shot by Grace Lopez. Snuck that ball right under the block and was able to find the floor in front of Wisconsin's right back. Yudaliz Rosado to serve for Miami. Nice shot again, kept up though by Rosado. Franklin tried the tip. Wisconsin get the point off a of violation against Miami. Not something you necessarily want to see. Want those blockers to stay disciplined, not reach. Oh, it was actually her coming down from the block. A costly error gives Franklin the opportunity to serve into the net. And an error for Wisconsin this time, and Miami catches a break. And now you've got the star player, Grace Lopez, to serve. Kill for Booth, another one. Yeah, the success there again starts with Orzel and that great pass. Battling on that serve, getting it up to Ashburn, allowing them to run Booth in the middle. And now it's Yulia Orzel, Badgers lead 5-3. Nice dig. Ashburn somehow keeps it alive and then she'll send it over. Over the block and a kill. Layao again. Yeah, Miami responds with an ability to run their middle. Haven't seen a ton of that tonight, but I think it's something they want to get going. Now the sophomore, Neilani Feliciano, to serve for Miami. One point game. Franklin from the back row gets blocked. Dug it out herself. Thomas Ilara, miss hit there, it goes out, and Miami have tied it at five.
Feliciano again. Backs that, but called for a double. Lopez was swinging, but double and a violation against Miami, so Wisconsin get the point. Again, doubles are just judgment calls, and there's no real way to argue those. Not sure Miami was thrilled. And even if it was a double, it was a really good play set, and of course, Grace Lopez was swinging hard on that one, so Wisconsin catching a bit of a break there. Missed time, but still sends it over. Perfectly placed roll shot there by Neilani Feliciano. Not often she gets a kill. No, not too often you're setting a DS in a back row attack, but the excitement after that one for her was awesome. Yeah, you don't get too many of those, and that was perfectly placed as well. Tying this at six. Miami did talk about not giving Wisconsin free balls, and you saw right there, even their DSs are ready to swing and ready to put a little bit more pressure than sending a platform free ball over the net. Badgers six, Hurricane six. Thomas Ilara, what a tip. And she was loading up to smash that one until the very last second, getting the tip perfect. She approached really hard. I think she sold that with her slow to fast approach, big arm swing, and then just dropped that tip in. Kept the defense on their toes. And the placement is one side of it, but the other side, like you said, is just the timing of that and the approach she had to confuse Miami. Tipped, nicely dug out though by Lopez. And getting the kill there was Heredia Colon. And Colon just going with power and aggression. It's a great swing, not a great set necessarily, but she takes her feet there and swings really hard, gets a piece of that Wisconsin block. And taking full advantage, and Savannah Vock is having some words with the official as she goes to the line to serve. The fifth year player, one of the best players in this program's history. Franklin with the kill straight at Heredia Colon. It's another great swing by Franklin. She's hitting 471 with eight kills right now. And now it's CC Crawford. Very tough server as we've seen many times tonight. Great kill there, good response for Marie Heredia Colon. Colon came ready to play tonight. She's, she has 11 kills, hitting 500, and again, just coming in with a lot of power. Heredia Colon from Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic has had a fantastic game so far tonight. That one goes long, hits the leg of Kelly Sheffield, and Wisconsin regain their lead. Again, those top spin serves, a little high risk, high reward going on, and they feel that it gives them enough when it is in to take teams out of system and cause a little bit of chaos. Badgers lead by one, Izzy Ashburn. It's a hard serve, and it results in an ace, Izzy Ashburn. And she's pumped up after that one. It's a great ball by Izzy. A flat ball comes off her hand with a lot of pace. Just couldn't, Miami couldn't handle it. Ashburn will go again. Lopez gets the kill. Diving was Gooch second to try and save, couldn't do it. The fans wanted a double. Nothing in it there, another kill for Grace Lopez. Yeah, same ball from Izzy, handled a little bit better by Cologne, and then just a high swing um, by Lopez. Great high hand shot. Rosado. Kept alive by Vok. Nice tip, and Miami get it of a net violation against the Badgers. 
We've seen some of those tips come over the blockers' heads. Those sometimes become the blockers' responsibility to come down and grab, and I think just a little antsy and tried to reach and grab that ball a little early. Rosado again. Finds Booth to receive. Lopez, nice dig from Ashburn. And that one is out. And Miami have taken the lead, 11-10. That was a great dig by Izzy. Fieldhouse is firing up a little bit for their Badgers. Idalis Rosado. Off the block, overpass, and slammed down by Booth with two hands. Good patience on that ball, waited for it to cross the net and then went after it and found a good place on the floor. Good job by Booth. And on that play, Angela Grieve went to start her approach and didn't realize it was an overpass. Her back was to the net and Wisconsin took full advantage of that open space. 11-11. The offhand tip, but great dig. great dig there. Was it in? No, it was not. Miami get it, and they've taken the lead once more. The defense here tonight has been outstanding. Grace Lopez. It's out. Error for Lopez. 12-12 game here in set number two. And again, this one is just back and forth and back and forth. Yulia Orzel to serve. Lopez miss hit that one, didn't get all of it into the net. Badgers have a 13-12 lead. As we talked about earlier, they're looking to get Lopez the ball a lot. She's currently a back row player. She's hitting a D ball from behind the setter in the back row. There are two front row hitters right now. Nice kill there by Angela Grieve. 13-13 now. And back to the line is Nelani Feliciano. Went on a bit of a run last time she was at the line. Robinson, perfect. And remember that last one was just out. Tries that place again and gets it this time. I really like that swing by Robinson. She kind of shows a cross court approach, but then turns that thumb down and paints that line. Really good swing. MJ Hamill. Tried the floater. Franklin from the back row, got help from the net, gets the kill, Wisconsin have a two point lead. And we're gonna take a break, Wisconsin lead 15-13 here in the second set, don't go anywhere. And we're back here at the field house, 15-13, the Badgers lead a very, very close second set. And it's been back and forth this entire time. And MJ Hamill, the surfer, Wisconsin, looking to continue the momentum Wisconsin has. Off the block, Crawford sends it up. Thomas Ilara with the kill. Again, CeCe's ability to come down after that ball hits her hands and control that ball takes a lot. Keeping it under control, allowing Wisconsin to run their offense after that is big time. Three point lead now. MJ Hamill again. Lopez from the back row, nicely dug out by Orgel. Big free ball chance now for Miami. And a smirk with the kill. 
17-13, and Wisconsin are starting to run away with this set. Yeah, you hear the field house getting a little bit louder in here. And they like that timeout call by Miami. A big one for Anna Smrek as she's done this entire season and so far in the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament. And both teams looking to play in the regional semifinal against the winner of Penn State versus Kansas, which is going on now. And Miami have never made it past the regional semifinal. They'd like to go there. Wisconsin as well, a lot to prove on this side of the bracket, of course, being the number one seed. Anna Smrek, though, she's been incredible. Yeah, Anna's hitting 333 with six kills tonight, and I feel like those kills have come in really great times for the Badgers getting them out of a run or just elevating the energy of Wisconsin's side. Really good job by Anna tonight. And Anna Smrek in the season is hitting 400 in the regular season, which is just incredible numbers, of course. One of the best players nationally as far as that. And being the tallest player in the Big Ten, of course, nobody wants to play against someone like that. Anna Smrek, who did get blocked earlier in this game, so credit to Miami's blockers. Other than that, she's seeming unstoppable, and you can't really control her hits. Back in this timeout, Badgers lead 17-13. It's their largest lead of the set. Curious to see how Miami comes out of this timeout and responds. Kind of a point where they need to put a couple points together in order to stop Wisconsin from pulling away from this. We'll see if this timeout can work for Miami. MJ Hamill once more. Lopez on the back row, MJ Hamill. What a dig with one arm. Anna Smrek had to shuffle, but she got it done in the end. Again, great defense by Wisconsin. That one-handed save by MJ, allowing the play to be elongated and Anna to get that kill. And even when Anna didn't like her approach going up to that ball, she had to shift at the very last second. Good improvisation from her and able to get the kill there in the end. MJ Hamill continues to serve 18-13. Looks like Miami is switching to 6-2 here. Just did a double sub. Hamill. And a violation against Wisconsin. Miami get it back. Cologne has just been great for them tonight. She's hitting 476 with 11 kills. She's someone that if I was setting, I'd want to get the ball to more often here. Milana Moisio for Miami to serve, 18-14. Thomas Alara perfectly placed again. Great kill, Badgers 19-14 lead now. It's a great swing to the deep cross court. Really high reach, finds a split in that block and is able to put that ball where the defense isn't. Gulje Guchtek in now. Looking to hit 20. Block got tipped. Nice dump. Good dig though by Guchtekin. Anna Smrek gets the kill straight off of Feliciano. A great swing by Anna. Again, just kind of overpowering that uh, Miami defense. Badgers now extend their lead to six. Gulje Guchtekin to serve again. The lefty. Off the scoreboard after that dig. It's tight, big block, nice dig Feliciano. Gooch Tekken collides with Orzel, but she's still able to make the play. Franklin gets blocked.
Heredia Cologne gets blocked by Smrek and Crawford. That's a big block to end a really great play of volleyball. A lot of good coverage on both sides. Teammates having each other's back and going to work for each other, giving each other a second chance, but just put away by the Wisconsin block. And we keep highlighting it, but the defense, as you've said, has been incredible from both sides all game long. Just a thrill to see. Heredia Cologne gets blocked again, and it falls, and the Badgers have 22 now. They just need three to close out the second set, and a timeout called by Miami. Yeah, I might have just jinxed them on that coverage comment, <laughs> but really great hands by Wisconsin. Great eye work. Middles are making really good moves to the pin. And now Miami has just used their final timeout of the set. Probably a good one to take if you're Coach Keno, but again, we just, it, the defense has been good for Miami. I have to give them the credit. The blocking has been good as well. And they're swinging. I mean, they've been doing things right, but at some point, you just can't contain this Wisconsin team. Yeah, the thing I like most about Wisconsin is as matches go on, they're, they're learning, they're adjusting, they're getting better. Right now, their blocking looks a lot better than what it did in the start. We saw that a little bit in the second set yesterday as well. And I'd love to just see them continue to dominate the net and get those hands over and get into Miami's space, putting them under a lot of stress. And for the Badgers, we mentioned Sarah Franklin being the Big Ten Player of the Year, of course, being first team all Big Ten, as well as Anna Smreck and Carter Booth being uh, Big Ten all first team and Devin Robertson getting to the second team. A lot of accolades there at the end of the season for the Badgers. Just one of the most dominant teams in the country and Carter Booth as well, who's had an incredible game so far tonight. She's one of the best players in the tournament uh, and in the nation, you could say. Uh, she's just been incredible. So we'll see how that timeout plays out for Miami. 22-14, Badgers lead. Here in the second set, Guchtekin will resume her serving run. Guchtekin, nice play to keep that alive. Franklin from an angle has to send it over. Nice dig there by Ozil. Heredia Cologne smashes that one. Miami wants a touch. The linesman didn't see it. Will we see our challenge? I think we might. Yeah, I couldn't tell from up here. She's going for it. She's taking really big swings and looking for those hands. That's why that ball sailed, is she's trying to get those high hands to touch it. So we do see our match's first challenge by Coach Keno. Again, it's so hard to see from here, especially in real time. But just looking at the body langu language of the Miami players, as soon as that was called out, they instantly turned to their coach and said, hey, there's a touch there. There's got to be a touch. Yeah, let's see this replay here. Ooh, it's close. And we must iterate that the officials have different views than what you're seeing at home that have better replays so they can make a, a more informed decision from what we see. I mean, what do you see, Mallory? I can't tell. I don't think I see any fingers going backwards. But again, not, we don't get all the angles. Curious to see what the calling is after this. Yeah, from what we see, I don't think there's enough conclusive evidence from our replays that we're looking at now to overturn this call. Uh, and that's usually what it needs to be. It needs to be uh, very conclusive. Uh, it's not just, oh, you know, perhaps that may have touched. It's got to be, yep, we know for sure there's enough evidence that we can overturn this call. As we look at another angle here, it's just tough. I mean, we're looking at the hand of, the left hand of CC Crawford, and no touch. So an unsuccessful challenge. Wisconsin get it there. No conclusive evidence. Yeah, I think that was the right call. I didn't see anything, but again, they have different angles and can see different things. And at this point, why not challenge it, right? You might as well. At this stage in the set, why not challenge it? Unsuccessful, though. Block sails out. 
And Payman Yardimchi gets her first kill of the night. Yeah, good high swing, challenging the Wisconsin block and finds her first kill of the night. 23-15. Savannah Vok. A high one from Smrek. Goes off a couple of bodies and it is now set point for the Badgers here in the second set. As Wisconsin fans stand up, Cece goes back to the line. I'm sure that's someone Wisconsin wants behind the line on game point. Cece Crawford, set point, it's a hard one. Getting stuff, sending it over. Franklin on the overpass and set number two. The Badgers take it by 10, 25, 15, and they lead this match 2 0. Great swing by Franklin, pushing it into the deep court where the Miami defense had gotten sucked up a little bit. A very hard one there, and good eye there from Sarah Franklin to acknowledge the overpass. It was a bit of a chippy one, not the way you want to end the set if you're Miami, and there's a lot to. A lot to prove if you're Miami here, especially after having such a close first set and that second set not as close, but you've still got another chance. There is still time, so we will see. We're gonna take a break before we start set number three. Wisconsin wins the second, they lead 2-0 here on ESPN+. Plus. Wisconsin and Miami, the winner of this game, will face off against Penn State, who just recently closed out the game 3-2. And on the bottom half of it, Purdue, of course, a team that has beaten Wisconsin this season already against Marquette, and then Hawaii against Oregon. All coverage on ESPN Plus for these second round games. So tune into those if you'd like. If you stay here, Wisconsin and Miami for this third set. If you're Miami, there's still a lot of hope, but it's 2-0. I'm sure your confidence level is not as high as it was after that first set, even if you know we were up by three or four points throughout almost the entire set, then you lose it at the last second. And then that second set, it was all Wisconsin. And this third set, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, I think the nice part about volleyball is you get second chance after second chance after second chance. What other sport do you start over potentially five different times before determining a winner? There's no time limit. You don't run out of time. You just have to score more points. And so I think if Miami is using this time effectively and growing and learning and adjusting in ways that they're going to exploit Wisconsin, there could be some hope for them, but they're gonna have to come out and put a lot of pressure on this Wisconsin team because they're playing at a really high level. They're hitting at a really high percentage. Wisconsin's hitting 400 and Miami was hanging for most of it. They were hanging at a high hitting percentage, but they dropped down to 189 right now. So they're gonna have to keep taking swings, finding ways to get the ball down on the court and just playing really high level volleyball for really long periods of time. And, you know, they've started off both of those sets very strongly, and they held in against Wisconsin in both of these sets so far. But Wisconsin just seems, and they've done it with most opponents this season, the Badgers, they just seem to hang in with the team and then just start going toward the end of a set. And at that point, it's impossible to stop them. And we'll see what Miami can do. Yeah, when I talk, talked to Coach Cano this morning, he discussed that this Miami team can play at this level but they haven't quite figured out how to play at this level for long enough periods of time to win some of these matches. And he was hoping that they were gonna do that tonight. Guzzi Guzteken to begin the third set, potentially the deciding one. Great dig from Gigi. Followed by another great dig this time by Heredia Colon. And there's a kill to start things off. Grace Lopez for Miami. Yeah, great thumb down shot from Grace Lopez as she heads back to serve here. I think Miami's probably hoping for a little bit more from her, but I think Wisconsin has defended her really pretty well tonight. Smrack nicely placed, gets the kill, and ties it at one. 
kind of that same shot that she, that Wisconsin just saw from Miami. Wisconsin turned around and showed Miami their same stuff. CC Crawford. After that big kill from Anna Smrek, trying to slow down Miami's strong starts that they've had so far in this match. Franklin gets blocked. Chasing that one is Crawford. It's gonna be tight for Booth, but she makes the play. Lopez from the back row, nice dig from Hamill. Tried the dump, got blocked. Diving to make that one is Gigi. The back set to Smrek, who ends a very long rally. Great pickup by Gigi there. I think she got hit in the head, ran into Carter Booth. Um, nonetheless, Wisconsin was able to finish that play out. Great high swing. High hand shot by Anna. So another highlight reel of defensive plays there from both sides in that rally. CeCe Crawford going to be tight at the net. Lopez got help from the net there to send that one over. And what a kill. Slammed straight down by Janice Leal. Again, I mentioned it earlier, I would love to see Miami get their middles involved a little bit more. They're both hitting at a really high percentage. Uh, Leao's hitting at 571 right now with four kills on seven attempts. Finding ways to get her involved a little bit more would be really effective for Miami. And just on that last play, just credit to Savannah Vock, who's only 5'10", the setter, going up to joust with Carter Booth, who's six foot seven. Got some good hands on that one. And another one from the back row by Grace Lopez. And she's finding her spot. Found those hands on the Wisconsin block and was able to ricochet that ball off them where the defense could not run it down. Really good swing. Canes lead 3-2. Sarah Franklin going to try again. Gets it this time. And I mean, that's probably the third time tonight we've seen Sarah Franklin get her own overpass. Yeah, hitters love to be rewarded. Give them an overpass and let them hit another one. Izzy Ashburn, 3-3. Three, three. What a block. Booth and Robinson teaming up for that one. Stuffing Heredia Cologne. Not a lot of space for her to go on that. Four big hands over. Really great job sealing the net by Wisconsin's block. So Badgers take the lead after that one. Izzy Ashburn to serve again for Wisconsin. Puts Miami way out of system. Good improvisation, but no touch on that one. It goes out. I love that serve by Izzy. Taking Miami way out of system and putting them in a really tough situation. Ashburn again. The Badgers have a two point lead here in set number three. Lopez from the back row. And a net violation regardless against Wisconsin. So Miami gets the point anyway. I thought that was another great serve by Izzy. Putting pressure on that Miami defense, but just a little undisciplined at the net. And it's these back row hits from Grace Lopez that are working very well for Miami so far. What a block. Robinson tried it, got stuffed by Heredia Colon. Those are great hands by Cologne, really getting into Robinson's space, getting over fast and closing that block.
Milana Moisio. Tight for Franklin. Already a Cologne, Booth and Robinson get that block. And there's the revenge. Both of these teams can be really great blocking teams and it's a fun thing to watch. I think blocks are one of the most exciting parts of volleyball. Definitely one of the more energetic producing skills of the sport. And Devin Robinson looked extra pumped up after that one after just getting blocked by Heredia Cologne. And now she gets the opportunity to help out with a block against her. Lopez again from the back row. It's like clockwork. Works every time. Grace Lopez once more. Yeah, that deep ball can be a hard ball to defend. There's just a lot of space and a lot of different angles that she, that Lopez can swing through, making it difficult for the Wisconsin defense to defend. Thomas Ilara with the kill. A deep shot from her, and the Badgers have regained the lead. Really good deep swing by Temi. That middle back and left back kind of got sucked up a little bit for Miami, finding a lot of space back in the backcourt. Yulia Orgel. Big swing, but it sails out. Badgers have a two point lead now. And a timeout called by Miami, even though it is a two point lead for Wisconsin. We're gonna take a quick break here in set number three. Badgers lead 8-6, we'll be right back. The fifth set, whip around coverage of the 2023 NCAA Volleyball first and second round, streaming now on ESPN Plus. As we are now back at the field house after that timeout taken by Miami. Badgers lead 8-6 here in set number three. Dug out, but giving a free ball to Miami. Again with the swing from Lopez, and another one from Orzo on the dig. Thomas Ilora got blocked. That was the rotation one where we see Lopez out on the outside. Two good swings by her, and an ability to put that ball away. Heredia Colon. Nice dig there by Rosado, but a violation in the net. Wisconsin get the point. See our double sub over here for Wisconsin, MJ Hamelin. Still a close one. 9-7 in a do or die set for Miami. MJ Hamill. The tip, nicely read by Thomas Ilara. Great dig there by Rosado. Getting the block, Crawford. The fingertip from that back row attack. Speed shots from the back row can be hard to defend, especially as a blocker. Cece hung a little bit longer and was able to throw that ball back down. MJ Hamill looking to serve again for the Badgers. They lead by three. A tough one from Hamill. Keeping that in play was Vok. And getting blocked by C.C. Crawford. That was a big Badger block in front of that Miami team. Hamill. 
The back set to find Lopez and another kill for the freshman. Lopez loves that thumb down shot. Looked like Wisconsin's block got a little wide and gave her a little too much space underneath that block. Eleven eight. It's still close. Usually, it is Miami that starts off stronger in the beginning of these sets. Right now, Wisconsin with just a two-point lead, as I said, but Miami still hanging on. Badgers passing two here. Rosado. Thomas Ilara, and it was in. It's a great sharp cross shot. And it just touched the line, just barely to stay in. Gooch Tekken. Good response there by Leal. Again, there's them getting their middles involved and having success at that. Passing is critical for that. Really good decision by Vach. Lopez missed hit that one a little too long. Sails out of bounds. Crawford puts Miami out of system. Franklin sent back over. Booth kill. That's a great set by MJ Hamill. Finding her middle in transition. Booth being up, driving really hard, seeing a solo block. C.C. Crawford again. And a beautiful one. C.C. Crawford has been incredible from the line. Gets the ace and fans rise as the Badgers have a 15-9 lead as Miami takes their second time out. I love what C.C. Crawford is doing behind the line, just putting a lot of pressure on those Miami passers, taking them out of system. I keep talking about them using their middles, but sometimes it's hard when you can't pass as well. And we highlighted a few players. We highlighted Grace Lopez for Miami, but how about Flo Marie Heredia Colon, who's been incredible. She's been getting kills, she's getting blocks. Even her digs have been great. She's been an all-around player for Miami in this game, and she's been the highlight for them. Yeah, 12 kills on the night. And just going in with a lot of power, a lot of energy, and taking really big rips on the ball for this Miami team. And that has been the story, just taking those big rips, as we've seen Heredia Colon do, and Lopez as well. Wisconsin, it's too early to say that they're running away with this set, I think. But 15-9, it's definitely not a great place for Miami to be in. No, they're going to have to make some, some plays here coming out of this timeout, find ways to score, find ways to put some pressure on this Wisconsin defense. As Wisconsin breaks the huddle, Miami following as well, both playing for a place in the regional semifinal against Penn State. And I can tell you, if Wisconsin does come away with, the, with this win tonight, they really want that Penn State game a Big Ten rematch. C.C. Crawford from the line to begin things again. 15-9 lead for the Badgers here in set number three. Which tech in nicely done. What a hustle. She sprints back onto the court and gets another dig. And a smrek off the block gets the kill. Wisconsin's not a team that you want to give too many free balls to. 
puts your defense under a lot of stress with three hitters coming back at you. All great options to be set. Great set by MJ Hamill. And a great dig from Guzhe Guchtekin to start things off. And another one from Guzhe Guchtekin, but Franklin gets denied. That is a big block. It's not often you see Sarah Franklin get blocked like that. Franklin didn't have much of a, an approach there. Um, and I think the Miami block, their hands were great. They were over, they were in her space, and she didn't have very many options there. Six point lead for the Badgers. Smrek, nicely placed, gets the kill in between Feliciano and Lopez. Finding that cross court shot again, we saw it earlier in the match. Just a hard ball to defend when she's hitting over the blockers of Miami. Izzy Ashburn to serve again for Wisconsin. Seven point lead. Gets around the block, but it's wide and out of play. I do like that shot by Cologne. It's the right, right shot to make. Just didn't quite execute it. She saw Wisconsin's defense shifting over. A lot of space down the line, but just missed it wide. Ashburn again. Back row attack. It took a tip, and it's another kill for Grace Lopez in the back row. Almost seems like Grace Lopez is having more success off that D ball in the back row than she is when she's a front row attacker. It's not something that you see very often. And it's been working like a charm for her in this game. 18-11. Huge Tekken and Franklin collide. They figure it out as Franklin sends it over. Tip, Great nice dig. dig. Sarah Franklin with the kill. And again, Guzhe Guch taking a bunch of digs in the last few points, and they're incredible as well. Yeah, Gigi's flying around, getting balls up, and that's the mentality of Wisconsin. See ball, get ball. Go get that ball, get it up. Give your teammates a chance to go put balls away. I love the hustle by her. Sarah Franklin. Off the block, kept alive, but in the net goes Wisconsin and Miami get that one. I think you see in that play just how fast Miami's offense is. They're running a really fast tempo to their outsides, causing a little bit of stress on Wisconsin's middles if they don't make a read quick enough to get there to close that block. Savannah Vock. Thomas Ayalara. What a dig to keep that one in play by Rosado. The tip off the hands of Thomas Ayalara and out of play. Miami get that one. Really good play by Lopez there. She saw those hands and just kind of swiped that ball off of it. Finding ways to have success in the front row. Miami doing better. Clawing back in this set. Another opportunity for them here. A tight swing there from Lopez and she tried the tight angle, didn't quite work out the net instead and then it rolled out of bounds there. Miami's back in that rotation one where we'll see Lopez on the outside and we'll see Cologne on the right side here. Nice dig, it's gonna be tight. Crawford didn't get there and it's a big kill for Miami. And they've cut Wisconsin's lead down to six. Yeah, when Miami gets their middles involved, good things are happening here. They get an overpass off that one and score off the overpass. Thomas Ilaro with the kill. 
And Wisconsin are four away. Really great swing by Timmy. Finds that seam in the block and gets up and pulls down on that ball. Tough ball to defend for the Miami defense. MJ Hamill. Orzo kept it up. And that one's long from Grace Lopez. And again, we mentioned how her hitting in the back row seems to be working a lot better than hurting in the front row. And now the last two attacks she had from the front row have resulted in errors. I think she feels the pressure of Wisconsin's block in front of her and she's trying to do things that she might not normally do in order to get kills. And she's fortunate as that one took a touch in the end. Anna Smrek gets it back for the Badgers. Anna really driving hard into that gap. Able to get a great set from MJ Hamill up to her. Single block. A lot of space on the court there. Guzze Guztekin. It's a tough serve. Over the block, no touch this time. Badgers have 23. Wisconsin serve has really put a lot of pressure on Miami and that's something they talked about today in film was finding ways to stress them out so that their offense can't be effective. Their passers are a little stressed and now their hitters are trying to do some things that maybe they're not normally up to. Already a clone kept that one up. Nice play there by Vok. And a smack off the block and gets the kill. And it is match point for Wisconsin. Schmeck finds that inside hand of their middle blocker and is able to tool Miami's block there. Match point, Buje Guztekin. Over the block, off of Franklin, into the crowd. Miami stays alive. Yeah, really great sharp cross shot there. Just, I don't think Franklin was quite ready to play off block defense. Alanis Vieira. The junior from Florida on match point for the Badgers. Needs to keep this one in and does. And it sails out just barely. It's a good tough serve she put in there. It's a hard thing to do on game point in an opponent's arena. Now Kelly Sheffield's having some words now. Yeah, with I think one of the Kelly might, have, might think that MJ pushed that off of the Miami block, but. Nothing in that one. After the conversation, we resume. Match point again. Anna Smirk off the block. Huge Tekken keeps it alive. Sarah Franklin, it's perfect. A big kill and it ends the match. And the Badgers win 25-17 in the third set. They sweep Miami and they'll play Penn State in the regional semifinal. Yeah, fitting work for Franklin to end that match. Again, leading with 15 kills, hitting 542. Those are some impressive numbers for her, especially given some of the balls that she's being expected to hit as an outside. Really great match for her, great match for Wisconsin. And just, I mean, there's so many positives on both sides, I should say, but for Wisconsin being the winning team, I want to mention Guzze Guztekin, who has made some incredible plays all season, but especially in this game multiple diving plays for her. Yeah, I thought the defense on both sides was really good. I was impressed with the fight that Miami came in and the things that they were able to do, but ultimately, as Kelly said over and over and over again, this is gonna be a team that 
is going to struggle. You have to find a team in order that's going to really put pressure on this Wisconsin team in order to take them down. So it will be a Big Ten rematch between Wisconsin and Penn State on December 7th in the regional semifinal. Wisconsin takes this one in three. They win the third set, 25-17. As for Mallory Stone, I Maiden Michaels. Thanks for tuning in on ESPN Plus. Final score, Wisconsin three, Miami zero. Good night.